We're now going to do a presentation on isolator technology. In industry, where we see isolators is where we wish to conduct, for example, open processing in an aseptic environment where we're isolated from the external air so there's no airborne contamination or we wish to contain a process and protect the outside environment from airborne contamination. So let's describe a typical isolator. A typical isolator can essentially be considered to be a box, it's typically made of stainless steel with viewing panels made from chemically resistant and durable plastics. Let's look at some of the detail of a typical isolator. The isolator itself contains its own air environment. Let's look at the source of its air supply. We would typically have an inlet supply fan and we would have an exhaust outlet, in this case a passive outlet. And on both the air inlet and the air out, we have HEPA filters for containment purposes. Now, in this particular instance, we're drawing air in from the surrounding room. We could put in dedicated ducting to an air handling unit if required for both the air in and the air out. Generally, airflow within an isolator is turbulent. You can get laminar flow isolators, but in the main, they're typically turbulent. Let's take a look. Now remember we have a contained environment within our isolator where we have no airborne contamination to and from the external turbulent environment. So how does one operate within the confines of an isolator? Typically through the use of gloves. One or more sides will have ports, and protruding through these ports will be gloves that the operator can slip their hands into and remain isolated from the internal environment. In this particular example, the operator is conducting aseptic manipulations. Here is some photographic detail of a glove port, and here is a visual of the operator's hand within the glove conducting operations. So how do we get items into and out of the isolator? This is typically through a transfer dock. For example, here is a transfer dock, and I can, using good technique, transfer my aseptic materials into the isolator environment for operator manipulation. Again, this photographic detail, we can see in an example of a transfer hatch. And finally, as well as or instead of gloves, we could also have a half-suit arrangement within our isolator. In this particular half-suit arrangement, the isolator can slip their upper part of their body into the suit and in this instance conduct aseptic manipulations. Here is photographic detail of an operator within a half-suit arrangement. <laughs>